tell me about marijuana use. We talked about this in passing, but you see all of these states legalizing this. So many young people, so many young men use it just the way you would smoke a cigar or have a drink. In fact, it's a daily, in fact, multiple practice a day. Uh, I, and I'm often told, you know, by people who use it regularly, look, it just mellows me out. It has no long term effect. You studied this. What did you find and how does it affect the brain? So I studied it. I mean, I've been studying it for 34 years now with mm -hmm. imaging and their brains look older than they are. It's not good for the brain. And then I published uh, a study on a thousand marijuana users. Every area of their brain is lower in blood flow and activity. And then just a couple of weeks ago in JAMA Psychiatry, there's an article not from my group, from a completely separate group on a thousand marijuana <laughs> users, the learning and memory centers of their brain significantly lower in activity. And it, it's common knowledge among psychiatrists and studies show that teenagers who use and teenagers in massive numbers now think it's harmless. Yes, and they do. Doing it with their parents. So, I mean, this is the insanity that's happening in our society. And teenagers who use in their 20s increase anxiety, depression, suicide, and psychosis. This is not okay. Now, I'm not a fan if you're smoking pot for them to arrest you and send you to jail. I don't think that's a good use of our resources. But we need, um, and President Trump talked about this when he was at the Department of Justice, mm -hmm. it's we need a serious brain health education, a drug prevention education program. And I don't know if you know, but after I listened to him, I thought, how much does Anheuser-Busch spend a year in marketing? Because the president said he raised like $50 million for this campaign. Yeah. Anheuser-Busch spends $6.8 billion a year oh. on sales and marketing. I'm like, we spend what, almost a trillion dollars on our defense budget. Right. But you're much more likely to die from depression, suicide, obesity, dementia than you are from a nuclear warhead. And mm -hmm. shouldn't we be serious about having a prevention, a Department of Defense for brain health? And my big goal, maybe you can help me with it, yeah. I want to create a brain health revolution. And I think this administration is the only one that can do it. Does marijuana use, does it make you more susceptible to Alzheimer's? I imagine it does because you're constricting blood flow. Yes, um, because it is not, it does not give you a healthy brain over time. The, the studies, because it's only been legal for a very short time, yeah. there are no great long-term studies. But if I wanted to prevent Alzheimer's and I had it in my family, I absolutely wouldn't use it. Thank you for watching this clip of the Arroyo Grande podcast. I don't want you to miss an episode. Go to our Arroyo Grande Show YouTube channel and subscribe now. Turn on notifications for breaking commentary, inspiring interviews. I want you to live a broad, thriving Arroyo Grande. Come back soon.